Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Alberonin here again, and this is going to be a breakdown of the Ermac Mavado trailer. Now, this is gonna be a proper in-depth uh, analysis style video, it's not a reaction to the trailer, so while it's playing here the first time, I'll just, you know, go over what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna pause a lot and talk about everything that we see here, because I've watched this quite a few times now, and let me tell you, this is an interesting trailer. Not only is Ermac Ridiculous and amazing. So many different launchers, so many unique looking strings and uh, non-standard special moves. But Mavado is also amazing, interesting, an absolute ambush monster. We also have some interesting changes like balance changes. We see changes to characters like Reptile. We also see like system changes where there seems to be a block breaker now where your cameo comes and breaks a block string in the same way they would have broken a combo which is very, very uh, interesting. But of course, that's not the main stuff we're gonna focus on, but we'll get through everything bit by bit by bit, and it's gonna be fun. Okay, so we start off with a back two, which is a string we're gonna see a lot, into this EX kind of crumple state launcher. This is the only time we get to see it, but it's one of the many ways our mecha can extend his combos. Then we have this 4-1 string that puts you into the air to cancel into this weird aerial stun move, which brings Ermac down to the ground to grab the opponent with these hands, and it looks really cool. I'm just interested to know if it is a full screen move, like will it hit the opponent and like track wherever they are, or is it just this specific distance after some aerial strings? Either way, having a way to extend combos by spending meter and a special move from the air is a pretty rare thing in this game, so that is really cool. Then we've got this kind of forward four knee into a float, into a jump button, into the forward four knee again. And then we've got our boy Mavado comes in for his first attack, his first ambush. He kind of jumps in from behind the opponent and hits them with just a flying kick. So I guess it works against airborne opponents. A lot of his things are questionable though. It seems like they're gonna hit grounded opponents as well. And having all these ambush attacks seems pretty scary. You'll see in the future. So we have this extra launch into one, two, four and a grab. All of the notations I say, by the way, are presumed. You can kind of get a, a, a guess of what they'll be, but it just gives you a good idea of what things are just by guessing, at least for me. Then we have this interesting move that he has and cancels as Shao Kahn goes for his wake up here. And if you look at the startup, it is actually that same slow punch move as he did before, but he did the EX version before and that led to a full combo. So it's an interesting slow move that leads to a full combo when you spend meter on it. And I'm not sure if it's a slow move that he cancels or it's the fact that he's holding it down, kind of like Rain's back forward one projectile, which can be back and forward dash canceled. Then we go for this back two one string again. And like I mentioned, this is the string we're gonna see a lot because it looks like it's one of his main launchers. Looks like it's a mid as well, which is really cool. Kind of like Omni-Man's back one one. Then he cancels the string into the teleport, and kind of similar to Scorpion, doesn't seem like in combo off of the teleport meterlessly, so he uses another Ma Mavado attack here, where, as another ambush, just drops from the sky, grapples down and bounces the opponent. That seems like it'll just be a great way of extending <laughs> aerial strings, similar to other cameos like, you know, Sonya and stuff, but more interestingly than others, he kind of bounces the opponent straight up instead of just further stunning them in the air and pushing them away, which can be quite annoying, and that's why a lot of people use a scorpion cameo, because it stuns the opponent in a way that cannot even bring the opponent towards him, but at least this one just bounces them on the spot. And clearly it's useful for Ermac here, because he goes for this back 2-1 again, and then finishes the string. I'll say this is like back 2-1 grab. A very, very nicely animated string there. And then just walks up and goes for his forward throw. Bringing about Nevada with a slide and the classic grapple kicks. Here we go into another pretty intense combo and setup sequence. We have this interesting button which kind of looks like a standing four, but we've seen another move that looks like standing four, so I guess this is maybe forward four or forward three or something. And it goes into this weird string where like it sweeps the opponent. I'm gonna call this forward three back one. Um, very unique looking, and what is very unique about the situation is that. And it may look pretty, you know, nonchalant and simple, but this is not a very Mortal Kombat style thing. It pretty much looks like Mavado's coming in here and hitting an OTG attack, because Kung Lao is very much on the ground here. He's not bouncing up 
And in Mortal Kombat, it's not like Tekken, where if your legs are in the air, you're still comboable. If you're on the floor, you're not comboable. So either this is a really unique string that leaves the opponent in a weird, comboable, OTG-able state, or Movado has this ambush slide that can hit the opponent in a knockdown state at any point. And that second option is what is the most interesting and unique potential that could come from this. Because that means anytime you get a knockdown or a combo or something, and you think it's going to kill, you know, like I've done rain something into geyser. Oh, it slightly didn't kill. I can call out this ambush Mavado, and he'll just kick the opponent while they're on the ground after the combo, and I'll get enough damage to kill. It's really strange and really not a Mortal Kombat thing. Sometimes in Injustice there was a few moves that could OTG, but it's really rare and yeah, it really makes me think, is this like a crazy ambush attack that can OTG or is this just a funky string of Ermax? Either way, one of them's got something strange going on here. But then next we see Ermac going for this kind of Banshee soul buff where he starts glowing teal or blue-green and he's got some kind of buff on. It's hard to tell exactly what the buff is, but it seems like a few of his moves are slightly better, as you can see, especially from this massive freaking beam. Um, but starting off even from this anti-air, it seems like this soul burst, which is a combo move that we see quite a few times, it seems like maybe it has a slightly larger effect or in some way enhanced effect by this buff, perhaps. He can easily get a jump up combo where usually he kind of just dashes forward, so maybe just gets a better launch. Then he goes for like one, two into this. Now, I thought, oh, this is just, you know, a different version of that amplified launcher in the air. No, this is actually an aerial string. He doesn't spend any meter, and this is just a fluidly animated string. There's no cancel into a special move here, I believe. So, perhaps in this soul buff mode, he gets slightly enhanced special moves, or or, or and, and or, he gets enhanced strings, which would be pretty unique. Usually when characters get buffs, it buffs a special move or special moves, but not usually normals. So if Ermac gets these like amazing air strings with these big soul beams that launch the opponent meterlessly from the air, that's pretty cool. And he goes for this forward three into our first time seeing the EX levitate or lift. And it's pretty cool, the animation where he lifts them up, but then he gets one of the souls to come out and just hold them there for a while. And then goes for this 2-4-2 two, two looking string that just looks pretty standard and knocks the opponent down. Mavado here is doing something very not standard. He's coming out as an ambush to put out this trap. And this trap doesn't just like do some chip damage or do a little bit of unblockable chip damage or stun the opponent and then knock them away. No, it stuns them for a long lightning, like, capture state where they're put in the air and ready for a full combo. That is very different to a lot of cameo moves we have seen in this game. If you think of anything that's slightly similar to that, perhaps Frost's back cameo where she summons that big frost ball that, you know, slowly goes towards the opponent and then freezes them for a very scaled combo and a freeze. That is a summon that takes... <laughs> I think over 60 frames or something to use. It's really slow. And this isn't just like a fast summon. This is an ambush. It has literally no startup time. As long, like, of course, there is startup time for him, but for your active character, you don't have to do anything. It can happen in the middle of your combo. It's actually really, really ridiculous if you think about it. Because if you have a long enough string, like Reigns 2112, where he goes, blah, 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 blah and hits you with like a ton of water for like three seconds. Um, you can call him like, like after you start doing that string and then this ambush trap will come out and it'll either probably leave you plus or if the opponent gets hit, then you go for a full combo. That's pretty crazy stuff if you think about it. Or just like the classic, I'm doing a combo, I've almost finished it, just, you know, I can do my classic combo, I don't have to change anything to get a setup and I can just throw this out at the end of my string and I've got this amazing bomb on the floor, which, leads to amazing looking combos. That is actually ridiculous, and that is absolute DLC treatment right there. And as we see later, that doesn't even cost a whole cameo bar. I know I'm ranting about this move for a little bit long, but that is pretty crazy amazing. It just costs a half, because he's able to do another cameo move afterwards. 
Anyways, we get to see this 4-1 string which launches you guys into the air together, but last time he went for a float cancel. This time, I think he just ends the string, so maybe 4-1-2. And then we see this Mavado drop from above to bounce the opponent. And then this kind of back 1-2 looking string where it's like grabs you together. I think that's probably going to be a mid, one of his better mids, if your back 2 is unsafe. And it also has a really good bounce to use in combos. And then we see this move, which uh, kind of interests me because I can't tell what it is the EX of. We've seen the EX float, we've seen that EX punch that leaves the opponent in a crumple state. So I suppose this is just a new move. Because yeah, it's a different startup animation as well from the lift. Because when he does the lift, there's a little bit of like ghost particles around here, like without any hands or anything, and it just like lifts up and then the hands and the ghost lady grabs onto him. But this, when he amplifies, there's like these hands coming forward that grab the opponent, and then you see this massive freaking ram demon come out and stab the opponent. So I, it doesn't launch or anything, so I imagine it's just going to be a really damaging combo ender, but I'm just unsure as to what it actually is part of. Like, what is its un-EX version? Some more combos coming in soon. We've got back to one. I told you we'd see the string quite a lot. And he cancels it into the teleport. Now, I did say previously that the teleport was not cancelable, or at least, I don't know if I said that, but it can't be comboed into other things, but it can be cancelled into the teleport, as you can see here. Where Scorpion, normally he has to EX it to recover quickly and do some aerial strings. Ermac seems like he can't go into aerial strings from it meterlessly, but he can at least cancel it into a teleport, which is interesting to me. Can he do that on block for some, like, interesting pressure? But even, like, just as a meterless combo extender here, that means that he can go into aerial strings and use it as a meterless combo extender. And if you're counting now, Ermac has about six ways of extending combos, a few of which are meterless. That is pretty impressive, and um, while I was saying that, we see some funky stuff happening with Mavado. What exactly is this? I'm not sure. It is actually the only summon move we see of Mavado's. As you see, Armek goes into this kind of summon stance while he brings out that cameo. But Mavado kind of just comes from behind, grabs Reptile, grabs you, and then slams you two together. <laughs> standard of a move. Pretty interesting. Um, I wonder what the potential is. When I first saw this, I was like, oh, what if like you can dodge it yourself and then it becomes like a launcher or something, but it, it's a summon so you can't move. Um, perhaps it's just a great like long-ranged full-screen option, kind of like Striker's um, Arrest, where you just kind of grab the opponent and then it has a funny animation, I guess. Really interesting to check out. Maybe it would be good for rushdown characters because you do end up close to the opponent and you wake up before them so you get some Oki. So maybe unlike Striker who does the like arrest and leaves you full screen, if you want to get close then you can just boom grab him and suck him in. So I see potential in that move. And then we get to see the back throw of Ermax, which is just a very cool cinematic camera change into crumpling and breaking all the opponent's joints. Now here, we see the beginning of some interesting new stuff, and you might be wondering, oh, you know, cool, cool button of Ermac. No, if you're a Reptile player, which I am not, but if you're Reptile, you definitely saw what just happened. Reptile cancelled his stand three into that kind of down back four drop down thing, which is something he could have always done, you know, that's a cool thing that they use to mix up sometimes, get a random overhead out of nowhere, but he cannot normally cancel that into nothing. Usually he like drops from the sky, does that big overhead in lizard form, but he, he can't cancel it. So this to me is them showcasing, hey, we got some more buffs coming out. And hopefully that means that this is actually big balance patch time. And it's not just another Quan Chi example, where last patch where Peacemaker came out, they gave Quan Chi a bunch of buffs and stuff, but then nothing really happened for the rest of the cast. Hopefully this is the rest of the cast and not just Reptile. And not only do we see the drop-down cancel, we also see this. That is not something that Reptile has had before. So he gets... 
this like unique version of the acid spit where maybe he's held down the button or something to make it a little slower. But look, oh, sorry, wrong button. He actually throws out a projectile when he does it. Normally it's just that little blast in front of him or you can meter burn it or EX it to be a slightly bigger blast. But look at this ball. Now there's a ball on the screen and I imagine it's gonna go full screen, which I imagine reptile players would like. I don't really know much about reptiles. Um, balance and stuff and what he really needs, but I, I guess having a standard projectile could be helpful. But going back to Ermac here, I suppose, we see him go for his EX teleport. And this one just kind of is like Scorpion's EX teleport, or I guess his aerial EX teleport, because it just recovers quickly and lets you go into combos. So we go stand four into this soul blast, which is a great combo extender, I've seen it a few times, recovers fast enough to get a lot of strings. We get this like forward four into float into one four bounce aerial string. Standing four into our EX lift again. And now this is pretty cool. We walk up, summon Mavado to put the trap on the ground, then jump into the air all while the opponent is being held there, then go for two, four, one or something that switches sides and bounces the opponent onto the floor, but they get bounced onto the trap. Oh, genius. And now we have this really uniquely extended combo where we get to go into like this back one kind of string, back one, two, into this is the um, regular non-EX version of the lift. As you can see, it has that kind of startup animation of this like whoosh, ghostly upwards mist. So we can tell that, that is definitely the regular lift, which seems pretty good. It leaves the opponent close to you. Uh, it doesn't act blast them full screen, so it seems like a good standard combo ender. Here we get to see a new balance change again. Once again, when I first saw this, I was kind of confused because I was like, oh, maybe Mavado has like a weird cameo reversal. But that's not what we're looking at here. Cameo reversals, you glow yellow, and you don't break out of block stun, you do it as a reversal. And also, like, You can see, by the way, that he comes out. This is clearly his combo breaker animation as well. But he kind of just awkwardly jumps out there and bops Shao Kahn in a strange looking way, which, you know, block breakers often look strange. But yeah, I guess it's confirmation that there are block breakers in this game. I highly doubt that this is going to be a Mavado specific thing. So it's probably just them being like, yo, we got some more system changes for you guys. Get excited which is cool. More defensive options is always cool. It just depends on how it's balanced. Like how much does this cost us? Is it something perhaps we can like do once per game? Is it gonna cost us three bars? Surely not. But if it costs one bar, then it is, is it too cheap? Does it cost two bars? Interesting, interesting. We'll see how it turns out, but yeah, block breakers, very cool. Cause at the moment there's not really much to do against crazy ass block strings. Like, you can try and flawless block to negate some chip damage. And you can hope that you can armor in certain gaps and not be ambush screwed over by multi-hitting projectiles. But this is interesting because it's hard to tell if there's the screen freeze. Like, regular combo breaker is, like, uncontestable, you know? Like, there's no way the opponent can bait it or do anything about it, like in other games. It just freezes the screen on a hit, and it happens. But this doesn't really happen on contact with a move. It's while you're in block stun. So is there a chance that if, say, um, Shao Kahn did something that recovers really fast, like a standing one or something, and the opponent goes for this block breaker, could it be blocked by something, or does it just come out fast enough that it punishes everything on block? Interesting, and we'll see when it happens. We just go for a teleport into this 4-1 string into a float, jump 2, back 1, 2 into a bounce, into this nice big um, soul burst, dash up 1-2 EX lift, a nice long extended combo here. Just a fun T-pose, I suppose, right before we go into back one, two, fatal blow. 
And we are not going to watch this in 0.25 speed. But yeah, this is a great looking trailer. Not like, like I mentioned at the start. This is not just about how amazing Ermac and Mavado are, and they definitely are, and I was really fanboying over both of these characters when I was watching them. But dang, the, the little bit of tease that they gave us of actual system and character changes kind of almost makes me more excited than these two characters, which is not the case. I won't, don't want to get my hopes up too much, because I kind of did that last time, and old Rain got was a slightly altered aerial fireball that doesn't disappear when you get hit. But, a man can hope, and hopefully, my hoping is not for nothing. But I will have a separate video, I think, where I will um, notate all of the moves we see from Ermac and Mavado, because they are pretty crazy looking characters, and it, I think it would be cool to like highlight how many launchers Ermac has, because I think he has literally like six or seven. And yeah, crazy awesome looking characters. I will be going more in depth, but hopefully this was enough to show you everything that happened in this trailer, and uh, I bet it made you hype. It comes out exactly next week, which is about Tuesday or Wednesday-ish. Uh, amazing. Can't wait to play them both. Unfortunately, we do have to wait till May from Mavado, though. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in whatever I upload next. Bye-bye.